Well, I guess there's nothing for it but to, uh, to go down. Oh, it's creepy. It's very creepy. It's also just, it's just black down there. Um, yeah, there's just, there's just nothing. Wait, did I just hit, I feel like I just hit like a bottom that I couldn't, yeah, I can't go any further down. Huh. That has trounced my plans slightly. <sighs> Do I have to open up the... Hi, Sharky. Are you the Sharky I can chat to? Citroen! Yeah. Thanks for being brave enough to be around me. Well, gotta get back to exploring now. Cheers, mate. See you later, buddy. Maybe I have to do some sort of... Maybe I have to help out. <clears throat> Maybe I have to help out uh, thing of me whose name I've completely forgotten. The deity in here. She needed an assistant. Maybe I need to... Maybe I need to actually help her and go and get an assistant for her. Um, hey, who did you want again? Was it Amar or... Where's she gone? Is she not in here? Oh, she's up here. Right? Right? No. This is nice though. I don't think I've been up here. There's little reefs. They're pretty. Where's she gone? I've lost a bloody deity. How have I done that? What's this do? Does this do something? Ooh! Where's that the shutters? Cool. But not helpful. There's Cobalt. She's gone. She's uh, completely gone. Uh, how do I do the thing again? Ah. Okay then. Oh man, there's loads of there's loads of things. To, let's go and see Alil because he's always helpful when I'm not sure what to do next. When there's too many choices, I like to go and see Alil. Hey, buddy. Hashtrix. Um, I had a strange vision. It looked like one of the gods appearing among the stars. They seem to hint at which god's going to be the next creator. That was my guess. It was Ketri and Esti. There's kindness in them, but there's a lot of chaos too. Hard to tell how their world will end up. Um, I want to know what one of the gods is thinking. Aletheia. Aletheia is very dedicated to her research, right? That's putting it lightly. Sometimes it's to the point where I wonder if she's really thinking about the long-term effects of her studies. Okay. No, I guess that's it. See you around, buddy. S see you later. Alright. Um, let's go and see my buddy Lutra. I miss Lutra. Also, I, th I feel like we had some quest stuff going on with Lutra that I've forgotten what it was. Oh, here she is! She came to see him! That's right, I'm so thick! At least I have a bad memory. Hey, Aletheia. This place is incredible. The life forms here are like nothing else in the ocean. Can't wait to study these samples back at the lab. No time to talk. Okay, fine. Lutra. Oh, is he hiding in his little pod? Oh my gosh, look at you. You're so precious. Are you okay? This one missed familiar one. Strange new one is in cave. New one brought device. Device using one came here to take things. Device using one is taking things now. Um, she's a friend of mine. This one lacks familiar one's certainty. After taking things, device using one approached this one. Device using one used strange machine. This one could not move. This one was not asked first. This one had very great fear. Oh! Oh, Lutra, I'm so sorry. I'll talk to the device using one. Or maybe you should tell it how you feel. This one considers. Will this one have safety? Does certainty exist that device using one listens? I'll make sure you're safe. 
Come on, little buddy. We'll do it together, okay? Oh my gosh, I love you so much, Lutri. You're so cute. Oh, I'm right here, buddy. This one feels like device using one listened. Maybe understanding. Much relief. Good. My word, this creature can speak with others telepathically. Seems I've made an unfortunate mistake. Scanning life forms, including animals, is standard procedure for me in new places. If they appear capable of speech, I always ask for their permission, but I had no indication the lava could communicate, so I upset it greatly by scanning it without an explanation. I'm sorry this happened, my friend. Oh. Oh, good. That, I feel like that went really well. I don't think that could have gone much better, right? You okay now, Lutra? Oh, good. Good. Fantastic. Okay, everything, se everything seems to be doing alright. Let's see if we can find Amar. There he is. Hey, buddy. Oh, it's so fun and full of life here. Hey, buddy. These two both say they're the life of the party. Did you know that? Yeah, I did. I did. I said they're equally classy. Let's head back to the grove. Okay, sure. I'm glad we got his input on that. Um, you said you knew Alethea, right? She's looking for some help around the lab. She's always super busy. Doesn't surprise me she'd be looking for volunteers. I was thinking maybe you could help. She wants you to help her analyze some samples of a material she found. I don't know the first thing about all those crazy gadgets of hers. Could be fun. Alethea's lab is not my kind of place. The water's so dark and cold out there. Well, it could be an adventure though. There's a major lack of good stories about the mid-seas around here for whatever reason. I'm just now remembering I owe Alethea a couple of favours anyway. Alright, you got me. I'll go on my adventure we can talk about it when I get back. Sounds good, buddy. Alright, I'll see you later. We're cooking with gas today. Alright, let's go see Alethea now. I wonder if Amal will be there helping out. Hey. Good to see you again. Uh, how did the lab work go? Very nicely, better than I'd hoped. First task was to compare the samples I found recently to others I've collected. I need my, needed my assistant to view them all under a microscope and note any differences. Amar was rather nervous at first, surprisingly. They asked to see some of my own sample notes so they'd know how it was done. After that, they did quite well. I've reviewed their comparisons, and they seem consistent with my own findings. I needed the samples exposed to various external influences, such as heat, cold, and electricity. Amal was on high alert, still a bit nervous, but I could tell- Oh my god, that picture's so cute. I could tell they wouldn't be missing anything. Aww. Amal was a big help. Thanks for making this happen, my friend. No problem. Have you examined your samples from the Moss Cavern yet? Oh, you're welcome. I'll be thinking differently about how to approach unfamiliar life forms in the future. I would love to hear about your findings. The fern-like plants are very unusual. The fern cells have more in common with the pod than anything else in the ocean. That makes sense. If the pod, the ferns, and even Lutra have so little in common with other life in the ocean, my hypothesis is that they all came from somewhere else. Another planet, perhaps? Cool. That is amazing. Yes, please do. As you know, Lutra is capable of telepathic communication. So far, this seems to be a one-way thing. It can speak to us, but it can't read our minds. However, the data I gathered suggests the parts of Lutra's brain that grant it this power are underdeveloped. They're likely to grow substantially at some point, and who knows what it will be capable of then. Ooh! Here's the last tidbit, and it's a doozy. Within its body, Lutra has what we call imaginal cells. These cells will one day transform into new body parts as Lutra takes on a different form. In other words, Lutra is meant to go met undergo metamorphosis. 
but it gets weirder. These imaginal cells of Lutra seem to be in a constant state of shifting and changing. I have no idea what to make of this. Maybe there are many different things it could turn into. Cool. Oh, no, that was very exciting. Alright, thank you. That was fascinating. Oh my gosh. There's new creatures in the coral reef and moss cavern. We should probably, uh... Should probably see if we can hunt those... Hunt those buddies down. Oh, hey, you okay? Do you see what Lutra's up to here in the forest? Lutra showed up in the kelp for forest a little while ago, wailing about how hungry it was. And it hasn't stopped eating since it got here. I watched it chew up a huge patch of kelp all by itself, and it's already getting bigger. Uh-oh. We'll figure it out. Have you tried talking to Lutra yet? I'm too scared. I don't want to be near it when it's devouring everything in sight. It's silly, I know, but maybe you could go instead? I'll see if Lutra wants to talk. Oh. Okay. This is a little bit worrying, isn't it? Lutra? Oh jeez, it does look bigger. I love Lutra so much, I don't want to... Hey crabs. You guys alright? Lutra! Hey! I take it you've been a little bit snacky? Lutra? Can you hear me? This one has... GREATEST HUNGER! Eating must continue. You need to stop soon, you can't eat the whole forest, okay? Familiar one does not understand. Change arrives very soon. Greatest hunger cannot be ignored. You'll have nothing left if you eat all the kelp in the forest. Eating will continue only until greatest hunger is gone. Um, alright, I trust you, Lutra. This one finished sharing thoughts until then. Alright, okay, so no more chatting until hunger's done. But then, Lutra did promise not to eat all the plants. So maybe we're okay? Lutra said it won't eat all the kelp. It's only planning to eat until it's not hungry anymore. I guess we don't know for sure. Yeah, maybe Alethea could help us out. Okay. Um, could you talk to Lucha while I'm gone? Thank you, buddy. Yeah, we'll get through this together. I feel like I made some mistakes there. I feel like I made a couple of crucial errors. New creatures. Oh, look at all the look at all the new buddies. Let's have a little break from the stress and just chat to some new buddies. Lance, hey, you were thinking of messing with us just then, weren't you? No, I'm just kidding. That was just a little gag. Look out for yourself out there, huh? Okay. Hold her right there! Sorry, just making sure you don't get poked. It's for your own good. Alright, thanks, buddy. Normally my friends get pretty ornery with strangers, but they've been in a great mood lately. I feel like something's changing around here. Not quite sure what it is, but I think it's for the better. Ah! Ah, you! Yeah, you! Keep your distance, please. Don't want you to get hurt by these big pokey spines, after all. Good shout. Thanks, buddy. I just... I lo freaking love the sound of the skittering... skittering crabs. Oh, hey, guys! What are you doing here? They're playing with a turtle. Hey, new friend. Sometimes we come here when we're feeling lonely. It doesn't always make us feel any better, but I think it's working this time. Wanna talk about something? Um. Well, now I'm here. Now I'm now I'm bloody here. How do I see how many? Oh, nine out of eleven. Hello. 
What's going on here? Have you got a little choir? You're just in time. I know you already heard my song before, but it's been a while. Want to hear it again? Yeah. Oh my gosh! Oh my god, he's got fans! Lord Poison! Oh my gosh, I love that! Lord Poison's got Lord Poison's got fans, that's everything. Whee! Ooh. Ooh. Uh. Drift. Did we just meet? Have we always known each other? Whoa, when you're connected to the whole world, it's like everything's happening at once. I, yeah, I, yeah, I guess. Tough. I am so buff. Look at that shadow. I'm the biggest crab there ever was. <laughs> uh, what a buddy. Hello. Misty. Everyone acts like they're all grown up, but really we're all just children. Now, ain't that the truth. Hey guys. What a perfect moment. I hope you're as happy as me right now. Maybe this won't last forever, but let's not think about that. Right now it's exactly what we need. Aww. Chill! I keep wondering if I should go talk to the turtles. Is it going to disturb their perfect peacefulness if I go close? i got to think about it some more. Coral reef is lovely, isn't it? Cut forest. Well, let's go see the new dudes in the moss cavern then. While we're having a little, having a little like side quest break. Not seen any pages for a while. Oh well. Hey, the rock. Still a rock. Nothing's changed there. Be on your way now. Alright, thanks, Camo. <laughs> if that ever turns out not to be a rock. Proto! I know what you must be thinking. How comical. But it's not true. I'm not the murderer. Hey? Hey, guys. They approach carefully. You haven't been getting many visitors lately. You really need prettier lights. Oh, no, you're pretty already. Sand has been sad lately. I know he doesn't mean it, but I wish he'd lighten up. It's kind of infectious. I don't know if you knew Zubin, but not too long ago I suddenly realised he was gone. I miss him, he did a lot for us. Oh, I don't know if it's just me, but it seems like we're a little shorter now? I think it's my imagination. Oh no, what happened? What happened to your other buddy? Someone there? Sorry, can't see you too well. Food's been so scarce lately. I need someone to help me catch some grub. I'd be willing to share the burrow in exchange if they wanted. Maybe you could find a good candidate for me, huh? Okay, I'll see what I can do. Hey guys. The stars have all burned out. I've never seen it happen before. I miss them so much. I'm sorry, maybe they'll be back someday. Oh. No more starlight, only dark night. Oh. God, it's getting a bit depressing actually down here. Oh, jeez. There's dark places out there, but don't be afraid. Just keep moving forward. There might be monsters, but beautiful things can grow in the dark too. Aw, you're right. Nope. How do I get over there? Ah, this way. Hello! You're so small! No matter where I go, I always feel so exposed. I wish I had a little space I could fit into in case I got scared. Oh, there's a shrimp out there with a burrow you might like. Yeah, totally. They're looking for someone to help them find food in exchange for burrow space. Oh, we might have done a little help. We might have done a little bit of a little help. Let's see if I can go back and find them. Hey! You're the one that sent that little fish over, right? Things didn't work out between us. I did manage to find a meal. All's well that ends well. Did he eat the fish? I think he ate the fish. Well, 
circle of life, I guess. Thank you.